What's up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so that you never miss a video, and comment down, down below. Today, we're going to talk about Paul Robeson, 1898 to 1976, birthplace of Princeton, New Jersey. A man of, for all seasons. As Paul Robeson walked to the stage, the audience rose to his feet with applause. It was their way of saying, welcome home. We love you. The year was 1963. Paul had recently returned to the United States after living in Europe for five years. These people had come to show how much they appreciate him. Paul was a singer, an actor, a scholar, a lawyer, humanitarian, and athlete. That brother had all kinds of stuff going on. <laughs> wow. He spoke several languages. There weren't many things he couldn't do. He graduated from Rutgers University with honors and was selected as the All-American football player. His acting career began in 1921 at the Harlem YMCA. A year later, his talent, his talent was recognized in the play Imperial Jones. In a few years, Paul was known around the world as a great singer and actor. His rich voice brought joy to millions. Bartone voice. Because of his fame, Paul knew many people would listen to him. So he spoke out against the racism and injustice he saw in America and the world. Some people tried to silence him. In 1950, the United States government took away his passport. He couldn't perform in other countries and concert halls in America were closed to him. He was unable to earn a living doing, doing what he loved most. But Paul Steele spoke out when the government was forced to give him back his passport in 1958. He went to England. He didn't return until 1963 World I'm going on that. Despite the many attempts to dis discredit him, people around the world continue to love and respect Paul Ropes. He will always be remembered as a person who made great sacrifices to help his fellow man. That brother was going through some stuff. Boy. Okay, good. Hey. Okay. Paul, his middle name is Leroy. Paul Leroy Robson. I mean Robson, I'm sorry. Uh, was born, he was born in uh, April the 9th, 1998 in Princeton, New Jersey. His mother died when he was six and he was forced to live in, a, in an attic of a store in New Jersey due to financial difficulties. Paul attended the Som Somerville High School where he found great success in whatever in endeavors he pursued there. He sang in the chorus for Julius Caesar and was also a part of basketball, part of the basketball, baseball, and track team. Uh, Paul also won a statewide academic competition for a full scholarship to Rucker College, where he enrolled in 1915. Now, some of the stuff I'm reading right now is just piggyback on what I already read. Some of the stuff is, that I read the first time, was some of this stuff is not in there. Let's see, Paul was the third All-American to be enrolled at Rutgers. He immediately signed up for football trials when he was tested with excessively aggressive play. With many people attributed to racism, Despite having a broken nose and a dislocated shoulder after the trials, Paul made the Rutgers 
Scarlet Knights football team. He also joined the Rutgers debate team. And for spending money, he was seen off campus at various gigs. Paul's presence at the campus was not devoid of controversy. For, in, for instance, he could not officially seen for the college Greek club. Furthermore, he was benched in the football game in his sophomore year as a Southern team refused to play with a Negro on the field. Even so, Paul played spectacular to earn All-American team selections in both his junior and senior years. He was also voted class valedictorian. Even his singing skills were recognized in the crisis. That brother boy, he got it going on. After a short stint at the New York University School of Law, Paul enrolled at the Columbia Law School in 1920. In 1921, he also played football for the Akron, Akron Pro. He then played for the Milwaukee Badgers in 1922. During this time at Columbia, Paul also performed for the Harlem YMCA. He also started portrayed, started portrayed Simon in, in rigidly Torrance Simon of Cyrene, Cyrene, C-Y-R-E-N, I think that's what it is. He also acted in a production of Mary, of Mary Hope, Hope Wills, Willsburg, Taboo. I I said that right. <laughs> Rob, let's see. Robson was forced to give up his career and law due to assist, excessive racism. However, he had much he had much better luck in the theoretical realm. He played the lead role for Eugene O'Neill. All God's children got ring, got wings, which attended a lot of public attention due to its unnatural plot. Robeson also attended in the Imperial Jones and Oscar race film, Body and Soul. He performed in the highly sought after musical Showboat and also in Shakespeare. Wow. Let's see. The latter of which went on to become a highly acclaimed Broadway Broadway performer. The later years of Paul were marked by strong political activism. He became a strong advocate of the Republican force, forces in the Spanish Civil War. He also strongly advocated the, the political independence for African nations. Hence, he became a member of the Council and African Affairs. He also was a strong supporter for American war efforts in World War II. However, he was blacklisted in the Paul in the McCarthy era due to his apparent support for Soviet political I mean policies. I'm sorry. Let's see. Paul was stripped from his rights to travel. The Council of, um, of African Affairs was placed on the attorney on the attorney general's list of su subversive organizations. Paul could only resume traveling after the 1958 Kent versus Dooley Supreme Supreme Court case. Paul Robeson died in January 23rd. 1976 due to complications arising from a stroke. That's the end of my video. I learned a lot about Paul Leroy Robeson. Uh, I didn't know he was all in all in. Uh, he, I mean, he he from what from my you know 
Kate from the story, he was into everything. It won't nothing he he's right, it won't nothing he couldn't do. He was into every I mean every football, uh a lawyer, singing. He was doing a lot of stuff, man. I mean that that brother was into everything. He didn't he didn't let nothing stop him. So that's the end of my video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, put on post notifications. Where you never miss a video, comment down below. I'm gonna have my merch link down below so you can go copy your merch. Uh, Valentine's Day is around the corner. You might want to get your loved one a shirt or a hat or a coffee mug, you know, face mask, some socks. Uh, feel free to go on over and get get them something. Anything beats nothing for Valentine's Day. It, it don't have to be about flowers taking them out to dinner, spending money on them. I mean, just the simple things sometimes that make your, so your significant other just put a smile on his face. So, uh, I'm running 20% off. Uh, the code is Valentine. So go over and cop them some merch. Hey, remember you're too blessed to be stressed. Loving happens at all times. Hug somebody, tell you love them. Always do a random exercise. Yeah. Shoot. Now, let me say this. I stress a, rec a random act of kindness all the time only because you don't know where your where your blessings coming from. Don't nobody know where your blessings coming from. So feel free to do something nice for somebody if it ain't gonna go to the grocery store for them. Okay, now you join my channel for you can join my channel for $2.99. Uh package deal right now is I shout you out. Uh, on all play, all major platforms that I have, um, I'm thinking of say you will see in the next video.